If you're involved in professional services at a large corporation, it's likely you're familiar with the big four accounting firms, Deloitte, Ernst & Young, KPMG, and PwC. But you may not be aware that there were originally eight large companies in the industry, then six, and then five, before the Enron scandal kicked in and it swiftly became four. But where did the original eight arise from? How did eight become just four? And are these financial giants likely to be knocked off their four-way perch anytime soon? Here's how it happened. Most of us could name the current big four, but not necessarily the original eight that dominated the accountancy industry throughout most of the 20th century, which included Pete Marwick Mitchell, Ernst and Winnie, Arthur Young, Deloitte Haskins and Sells, Touche Ross, Price Waterhouse, Coopers and Librand, and Arthur Anderson. Most of these companies originated from the mergers of smaller audit firms, all hailing from the USA or the UK, expanding internationally by forming local partnerships. During the 1980s, Pete Marwick Mitchell merged with a smaller firm, Kleinveld Main Gardler, to form KPMG, while Ernst and Winnie merged with Arthur Young to form Ernst and Young, and Deloitte Haskins and Sells partnered with Touche Ross to form Deloitte and Touche creating the big six that we came to know throughout the 1990s. Six became five in 1998, when Price Waterhouse merged with Coopers and Librand to form what we now know as PwC. However, the big five was short-lived, as 2001 was marked by the collapse of energy company Enron, the largest bankruptcy in US history. Enron was a company that had been hailed for its innovation and for years was known as a sure bet on Wall Street. But as the company pursued a strategy of aggressive trading throughout the 90s, Arthur Anderson was responsible for hiding the company's debts in outside entities, which eventually came to light once the dot-com bubble burst and energy trading became a hugely competitive market. The Securities and Exchange Commission began to investigate Enron and resulted in the firm's stock price falling over 99% in just over a year. This spelt the end for Arthur Anderson for their part in the scandal who were found guilty of the obstruction of justice and lost its certified public accountant license in August 2002, resulting in 85,000 employees losing their jobs. Most of the firm's international practices were later sold to other members of the Big Five. The consultancy branch of Arthur Anderson was able to escape the verdict of the courts and was rebranded to Accenture, now one of the world's largest consultancy firms and a Fortune 500 company. And so what had widely been known for decades as the Big Eight had now halved in size. With revenues in the tens of billions and employees in the hundreds of thousands, there's not much to choose between the current Big Four. Concerns have been raised about major accounting services all being condensed into such a small concentration of firms, leading to suggestions of collusion and corrupt practices. And also with the high-profile collapses of some of the UK's biggest companies, such as Carillion and Thomas Cook, the near future could see some much heavier regulations imposed across the industry. And that's how it happened. Like and subscribe to see more videos, and comment below with what you'd like to see next, and we'll show you how it happened. Thanks for watching.